Thanks, John. That one was terrific. That makes an even one of us who thinks so. Miss Latour. Yes, Mr. Gale? Can you tell me why they call you the French fireball? John, I droop like the cabbage. How can I be the ball of fire when I infatigate to exhaustment? Oh, it seems to me you extinguish easily. But then when an actress reaches your age... My I... age? Oh, sassy boy. I have danced this dance 20 times. Do you say merci once? No, you say, I'll go, I'll go, again, again. And now I am the old bag. Well, I say, no, 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 I'm That's no. That's it, that's what I want. Boom, oh, start the playback, pick it up right there. When they first tell to me that you should like a picture, I say, no, these men have this place, I say. 26 takes, they insist. I listen, I am the fool, but now I have say no. No more, no more every day like this, this is finished, through. I dance, no more, jamais, never. Playback. Never. Action. Brother, wait till Hyde hears about this. Yeah. And I'm just a guy that can tell it. But, Doug, there's a limit. Gail's got every department on this lot in a tizzy. He had a whole set torn down because one window was out of place. He told the production manager to keep off the stage. All right, all right, all right. They know John's reputation and they're looking for trouble. They don't have to look, brother. Now, Doug, I know you're old classmates and I know how fond you are of him, but being kept out of pictures for two years hasn't taught him a thing. He's still the same self-opinionated egotistic. John's a perfectionist. He knows what he wants and he won't compromise. He's turning out a great piece of work and that's what counts. Wait till they see the picture. Everybody will go flat on their faces. Mr. Hyde. Yes? Stage nine just called. Miss Latour just went flat on her face. What? All right, let's wrap it up for today. Nine o'clock in the morning, same scene from the beginning. Playback. Where's Yvonne? 
I sent her home. A little dizzy spell. Uh, Bill, phone for my car. Will oh, you? Oh, wait a minute, Joe. All right, wrap it up. Everybody on the set, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Dizzy spell, huh? The only dizzy one around here is the guy who talked JB into letting Gail on this lot. Leaving for the day, Mr. Gale. Mr. Gale, sir? Where's Andrews? I sent him on an errand. How'd I know you'd want the car so early? The tour needs the afternoon to get her nerves restrung. Oh, here we go again. Are you implying that I'm hard to get along with? For the people who work with you, yes. That, that was the general insinuendo. Insinuation or innuendo? You go to your church and I'll go to mine. Why can't you tat Anna Macazars, embroider cummerbunds, or raise aspidistras? Any hobby except that silly business. That business is what I love. It's all I want to do. It's in my blood. Can't you understand that, Louisa? It's my food and drink. That I understand. <clears throat> food and drink. And I know a place near here where we can get some. Why not? A little gaiety might snap you out of it. Anyway, it positively smells of food. Positively smells, period. 168, right on the nose. Sorry, lady. Who's next? Let me guess your weight, sir. If I fail to guess your weight within three pounds, you win a beautiful prize. Step right up, folks, and see the beauties of Brazil. The heat waves of the pepper. I shake Miss Miraca so. By the ticket, step inside. You'd like to see me? No. That was Lolita, ladies and gentlemen. She's not bad. It's where Latour belongs in a carnival. Why don't you unlax? Forget the picture. I didn't mention it. But you're thinking about it. I say maybe you'd be pleasanter if you ate something. I'm not hungry. Well, come on then, listen to me. <laughs> Step right up, Governor. Hey, haw Let the ladies see what the old line mass looks like. What you've heard is true. What you've guessed ain't half of it. Now come on the inside and see it all. My name is Chili Flower. <laughs> she means cherry flower, folks. You know, the Chinese have a great difficulty in pronouncing the English R. Go ahead, dearie. When I 14 year old, my cruel father have too much Inga Pei. Inga Pei, folks, is the Chinese equivalent to bourbon or scotch. My wicked father make life very sad for me. So, Chili Flower, run away and come here to a lime house. Thank you. Step right this way, folks, and see the evil faces in the London fog. The waterfront dives like old Harry himself. The dens of Chinatown. A guide will see you through, folks, so don't be afraid. Come on, Governor, hurry up here, you all see? Isn't that the girl from the Brazil show? The Chinese girl? Sure. Wig, different accent, perfectly possible. Could be. You know women better than I do. Take a powder from the pampas? You bet Tiki, you see me. You know, by Tiki, you know, see me. But you are Lolita, aren't you? No. Michele Flower. Excuse me, I lush inside. <laughs> what happened to Gail Charm? My interest is purely technical. Oh, look, cotton candy. <laughs> Buy me another. Oh, that's disgusting. How can you eat so much? Mm. Health, youth, good, clean thoughts, and glass hot water every morning. Yes, sir, folks, the show is just starting. It's just commencing. See the streets of Paris. See those luscious love legs that we brought over here from Paris, France, and tremendous expense. Yes, sir, those dollies of the folly. Look. Look at that girl. Standard equipment. I'm talking about her face. 
Yeah, she looks vaguely familiar. Well, sure she is. That's the same girl. What? With a new look. And it's lovely little lady standing here, ladies and gentlemen, is Mademoiselle Fifi. A tasty little tidbit, but only a sample of what you'll see on the inside. Yes, sir? Say, you get around, don't you? Oh, may we? I travel all the way for my dear France. Mm. Satisfied? Perfectly. Poor kid, she certainly works hard, doesn't she? <laughs> that bad? At least she has a job. Yeah. Well, let's get out of here. I got an early call in the morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the show's just starting. It's just commencing. A beautiful galaxy. Thank you very much, sir. Nine o'clock. The whole company on the set, and not a sign of Latour. You know what J.B. will say if she's seriously ill? You're wasting a lot of good worry, Marty. It can't be much. It can't... I'll go over to the set with you. Uh-oh. Go on. Yes, J.B.? Yvonne's doctor just called, Doug. <laughs> what is it, J.B.? A touch of indigestion? He says it's nervous exhaustion. She'll have to rest six or eight months. Six? Oh, no. I've had Gail sent over to your office. I don't have to tell you what to do about him, do I? That you don't, J.B. When I get finished with him... Good. Call you back. Yes, sir. Well? Have you heard about Latour? Just now. And you've got to fire me, so don't beat around the bush. John, you're the greatest guy in the world, off a picture set. Thanks for making it so easy for me. I'm not. And I'm not going to be fired. Boy, I just couldn't give you the argument until you said I was. But you know I have to. I won't be working here. That's what I'm thinking of, Doug. Your career, mine, doesn't matter. Of course, I put my life's blood into this picture. It was my idea, my story. But you're the one who stuck his neck out. If I fail, it'll be a blot on your career. So I can't let you down. I can't let you fire me. Well, I have to. If you had heard the old man. That's just it. J.B. has poured a lot of money into this picture. And if he has to shelve it, naturally, he'll take it as hard as a Wisconsin winter. But if we can keep going... How? You know Latour can't be replaced. Why, when she first refused to do the picture, we tested every possibility in the business. She's absolutely unique in her field. Granted, there isn't another French girl. So we changed the characterization. She's an American living in Paris. John. John, you're wasting my time and your own. Even if I'd consider it, the old man wouldn't. Will you ask him? No, I'm out on a limb now. That's better than being out on your ear. Ask him. No, 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 and that's final. You're right when you say I beat around the bush. But I won't this time. I'm tired of going to bat for you. I'm going to tell J.B. exactly what... I, uh, I was just going to call you, J.B. I... What have you done with Gail? Well, I, I was just firing him, J.B., when I, when I got a terrific idea. If we just make a slight change in the story, we can still fulfill our commitment. The girl isn't French, see? She's an American girl living in Paris. Then we can use any of the stars we have here on the lot. The girl isn't French. The picture isn't worth a nickel. Yes, I know, but we could... Yes, but uh, we could salvage more than half the stuff we've shot in. And besides, Gail has won a few awards for us. No. Get that menace off this lot, and that's an order. Yes, sir. Thanks for trying, baby. If you die first, I'll send you some flowers. All right, friends and neighbors, this show here is just starting. It's just commencing. Don't fail to step inside and how many, sir? Thank you, sir. And see the streets of Paris, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I hope you like the show. If you don't, when you come out, get your money back. Try and get it. All right, folks, see these lectures lovely that we've imported over here? Fifi, and I'm devil may care. Would you buy a midnight snack for me? Take me home and scratch. 
scratch my back for me. I'm Fifi. I'm no one in Paris. Can, can, can like me. If you want to take a little promenade on the bully, 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 bully bar, call Fifi from the Folie Berger and I'll be there. Fifi from the Folie Berger. And I'm devil may care. Marry me, I make you crepe success. Feel a half a dozen bassinets. I'm Fifi, and no one in Paris can, can, can like me. Would you like someone to sing your praise for you? Call upon your boss and get a raise for you. Call Fifi from the Folie Berger, and I'll be. Uh, see the window, with a sign private on it? Oh, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> yeah? Can I talk to you for a minute? What do you want? What do you do now? Tame lions? <laughs> Funny, huh? Uh-uh. They're already tame. They let anybody pet them, but I can't say the same for me, see? Clearly. But I came to compliment you on your versatility. Look, just because I work in a creep show don't give you a right to insult me. Oh, I'm not. I'm complimenting you. Well, I wish I could say the same for you. Look, I think you have talent. Sure, I ought to be in pictures. That's right. Listen, chum, you smell of money. Can't you afford to buy a new line? But I'm sincere. I am John Gale. So what? Well, doesn't the name John Gale mean anything to you? Well, I guess it ought to. I read the funnies. Don't you ever see pictures? Oh, sure. Between the Brazil show and the streets of Paris, I got almost an hour to do anything I want with. Does that answer your question? Listen, I'm a motion picture director. Oh, so that's a caper, huh? You're gonna make a big motion picture star out of me. Why not? I think you have the ability. Have you ever heard of Yvonne Latour? Oh, sure. It's her stuff I copied for the streets of Paris Well, routine. she collapsed on the set yesterday. You can read about it in the newspapers. I'm directing the picture, and I've got to finish it. That's what I came to see you about. Well, maybe later. But you just said you had an hour. I gotta eat. Well, that's a great... Great idea. Brother, you stick like glue. Mm -hmm. You think you can stand the tariff in this joint? I think so. Let's go. Honest, mm -hmm. you're on the level. Yeah. You're not just buttering me. Cross my heart and hope to make a picture. Yeah, but I can't speak French. Why, with your knack for accents, you'll, you'll learn it in nothing flat. Well, what about the dancers? What? The one I do, I put together myself. I'll get your teacher. My voice? It's pleasant, and it has quality. Yeah, but she acts, too. That is my department. You certainly sound sure. I am. I know you can do it. You have aptitude, spirit, and intelligence, and you're not afraid of hard work. It'll be tough. Maybe tougher than what you're doing now, but it'll be worth it. Fame, fortune, your name, and lights. Rochelle, what's your last name? O'Leary. Mary O'Leary. Mm -hmm. My mother was Irish, my father was a plumber. O'Leary. Olivia. Rochelle Olivia. How would that look on a marquee? Gee, great, but... Can't you see your name in front of theaters? Your picture on the cover of movie magazines, your name in the screen gossip columns. Yeah, but... Think of it. People turning in the streets to stare at you, the whispering in the theaters. You walk down the aisle. Nightclub MCs introducing you as an honored guest. The public copying your clothes. Women envying your furs and jewels. All the money you can ever use. How does that sound, Mary? So wonderful. It's a shame I can't do it. But you can. You will do it. Oh, no, I won't. I'd never get away with it. All of a sudden, somebody would come and tap me on the shoulder and say, Hey, Miss Olivia, your O'Leary is showing. Mary, you have to do it. You have to do it for me. I have poured my life's blood into this picture. I've thought of nothing else day and night, and now it looks as if it's slipping away from me. I want to finish it. It means everything to me, and only you can give me the chance. Will you help me? I guess I can try. Thanks. Now, how long will it take you to pack? Pack? I'll take you home with me tonight. Home with... I have to take you to my house. I can't let you be seen until you're ready. But believe me, with all the instruction you're going to have to have, you won't have a chance to be alone. Now, how long will it take? Well, Vi can take my place. She did when I was sick. Huh. Then I got to go tell the boss I'm quitting. Then I'll get packed and... 
Can you meet me here in ten minutes? Good girl. Maybe I'm smart, maybe I got a head full of feathers, but... Brother, you sure make with the influence. <clears throat> But Pa didn't know what procrastinating meant, so he told the teacher that if she'd swear that I was doing it, that he'd beat me up. And I told him that if he did, I'd run away. So she did, and he did, and I did, and that's all. Hey, what goes with the hotel? That's my house. Good evening, Wilson. Put that in the north room. Indeed, sir. You're a game little trooper, Mary. I want more than ever now to make this venture a success for you. Gee, thanks, Mr. Gale. John. John. I'm sorry I was such a blister. I mean about trying to give you the brush off and all. You were scared, let's face it. Could be. But you're not anymore. Nothing in this house to be afraid of. No. Never want you upset or startled or... Hey, what? Shh. One man in the world who mustn't see you. Sorry, Miss John, I guess we're... Hiya, Doug, Louisa. Lovely evening, isn't it? What are you doing? I? Doing? What should I be doing? Hanging up my hat, of course. In there. Why not? It's where Wilson always puts them, isn't it? Not that I knew of. Well, Doug... Uh, Douglas just stopped by to see how you were feeling. I thought you might be kind of low after a while. Low? Oh, far from it. I feel great, Doug. Really great. Louisa's right. I'm bunheaded for fooling around with this picture racket. You mean you're not going to direct anymore? Absolutely. I finally realized I'm not temperamentally fitted for it. I'm going to forget the whole silly business. Well, I'm certainly relieved, John. I thought you'd like to hear that. Yeah, well, I felt I'm uh, glad you dropped by, fellas. Sorry you're leaving so soon, but thanks for your thoughtfulness. Yeah, I uh, got to get back. JB's running some stuff, and I always have. Uh, where are you going? I'll get my hat. You said Wilson put it in there. Uh, no, 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 don't. Uh, I mean, don't bother. You didn't have to scare me to death, did you? I think you had something hidden in here. Why not? Everybody's got a skeleton in their closet. <laughs> Well, good night, Doug, and thanks again. Good night, John. I'm glad everything's on the up and up. Bet. Good night, Louisa. See you, Doug. You could have fooled me. Ah, oh, skeleton, huh? Pretty well padded. Well, I couldn't have Doug see her, could I? Not until I have her ready to step into Latour's shoes. And why not? I'm fool enough to ask. Well, you know what an insecure guy he is. He never had faith in her unless he thought she was authentic. All he'll see is Rochelle Olivia. Cousin of a friend of yours, what? right from France. French cousin. Wait a minute. Then you didn't mean what you said about not making any more pictures. Of course not. Uh, uh, Louisa, this is Mary O'Leary. She's going to stay with us. Mm, I gathered that. How do you do, Mary? Hello. I'm sure you'll be as happy here as you would be in any asylum. Good night. Oh, John, come in when you get upstairs, will you? You don't like her, hmm? Well, she's not exactly my type either. You forgot to tell me you were married. I'm not. Oh, oh, Louisa. Oh, she's my sister. Oh, I do like her. I think she's beautiful. Yeah, it uh, runs in the family. John? Yep. Yeah. How'd you like her? John, I'm not going to hold still for it. Well, what do you mean? If I can produce a star to take Yvonne's place, I'm in again. It's all right with me when you're out. Listen, Dreamboat, I'm a great director. Surely I'm entitled to my due. Not by trickery or not. I'm not going to let you get away with it. Louisa. And don't act. I know all your tricks. You must know how much this means to me, Louisa. I've poured my life's blood into it. I've lived it 24 hours a day. And all night, too. I wasn't going to say anything like that. I'm not thinking myself at all right now. Doug is on a spot. And I've just got to help him out. And after all the years we've been friends, I should think you'd want to help him out, too. I do. That's why I won't let you fool him. Look, when I get through with this girl, she'll be great. Doug will be crazy about her. She'll save the picture for him. The answer's still no. I haven't asked you anything. I know you won't tell him my plans because I told you in confidence. Won't I? Oh, of course not. Will you? Oh, you can't. Good old Doug. This means so much to him. After the way he stuck his neck out for me, I've just got to come through for him. I owe it to him, Louisa. You can see that. You do understand, don't you? Oh, perfectly, Glamour Boy. And the first time you think of anybody but yourself, it'll still be the first time. All right. 
Just tell me who ever does think of anybody but himself. I couldn't have slept another minute. I couldn't have slept another minute. You do? No, you. You couldn't have slept another minute. That's what I said. Mary, he's a purist. I thought she was going to speak French. She'll think in English. It has to be correct to translate. Poor kid. Oh, I don't mind. I'd like to be able to talk good. Mm. Coffee sure smells wonderful, don't it? Doesn't it? Uh-huh. You wear size 12, Mary? That's right, if you don't mean my shoes. I thought I'd pick up a few things for you in town today. Of course, if you could go with me, That's it would impossible. Be... Nicolette will be here any minute. She's late now. She has a wonderful school in Paris. She'll, She'll teach you singing and dancing and the language. Gallic manners and customs, history and geography. What? No algebra? Well, if she comes from France, she has to know her background, doesn't she? You have to know where you were born, what your house, school and city looked like, your mother's maiden name, your father's bit... Uh, yes, Wilson. Pardon, sir. Got a match, bub? Madame Nicolette is here, sir. That's fine. Show her in. Very well, sir. He's not going to be much fun. One usually doesn't joke with the servants, Mary. Okay, remind me he's not people. Oh, quel affreux voyage, ce tranquillement. C'est plus. Fais bien attention à mes bagages, à mon manteau. Oh, comme c'est joli ici. Quelle magnifique maison. Oh, John, mon cher ami. How wonderful you look. Glad to see you, Nicolette. And Miss Gale. Oh, nice to meet all again. And this is. Ah, this is Mary O'Leary, the girl I talked to you about on the phone. Ravissante, mon cher. Ravissante. So. This is my pupil. No, your cousin. 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 You think you can make a French girl out of me? I don't think I know. I gave my word to John that I will make a real mademoiselle out of you. Even if I have to beat the French into you. Oh, thanks. But don't forget you're my cousin, not my stepmother. A. E. Oh. No, 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 no. Ce n'est pas ça du tout. Le tout est dans le mouvement des lèvres. You have to move your lips. Oh, e smile. Oh, 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 oh. Now like a whistle. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Mary. Mary. Allons, 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 allons. Vite, 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 plus vite que ça. Ramenez-vous un peu plus vite. Nous n'avons pas de temps à perdre. Vous êtes très jolie et prête. Maintenant, dépêchez-vous, dépêchez-vous. Nous allons faire les exercices pour vos jambes. Come on, now let's come here and you do the exercise for the glamour of your legs. To have lovely legs, oh, lovely legs. Oh, and yeah. to be able to, you must like talk with your legs. Your oh, legs must be look elegance oh. and grass. De la oh, grasse, de la oh, grasse. That's what we want, de la grasse. La, de la you grasse? Put, that's your turn now. Give me your legs. Yeah. That's fine. Now you put your... Très bien, la jambe à la barre et la tête à la jambe. Oh, 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 la tête à la jambe. Oh, 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 What's happening to you? Have you slept? No, I always sit down to rest this way. No time for rest. Oh. Night sings a lonely serenade As I walk along With my kisses on the way Non, 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 avec plus de sentiments, laissez parler votre cœur mort feeling. If you mean I'm numb, you're not kidding. You have been working it pretty hard, Nicolette. Why don't you sit down, Mary, and relax for a minute, hmm? What's the matter? You look as if your face hurts. It's not my face that hurts. Very, very good, Nicolette. Yes, yes. Now I want you to start with the learn about love number, the one from the picture. Mm -hmm. What? How would you like it? Homogenized? All right, come on, let's start, let's start. With emotion, think how you are feeling. I know how I'm feeling. And it won't sound like music. Now, those are your marks. You come up to them when Bill comes in. Keep your left profile to the camera, which is right here. Okay. And this is the door. 
All right, go on back to the piano. Action. I want to learn about love from you. Not now. Antoine? He's opening the door. Oh, Monsieur B. That is such Watch a the marks on the floor. No, don't look at them. To the right, to the right, a little bit. Watch the marks. Don't look at them. Well, how can I watch them without looking? It's impossible. The whole silly business is impossible. You expect me impossible. I can't do it, and I don't want to do it. I'm going back to the carnival where I can get some rest. You're pretty tired, aren't you? Everything that don't hurt itches. Oh. All right, Mary, we'll quit. As soon as we run through the entrance scene. Come on, over to the piano. Now I knock, and you come to meet me. And don't forget you're in love with me. In love. Yes, John. All right, action. I want to learn about love from you. Antoine? Oh, Monsieur Beer. Mademoiselle. That is such a surprise. Good, that's very good. But your arm is covering your face. This time, raise the arm away from the camera. So, well, what? No! The lesson almost. John, didn't I warn you I was not going to let you browbeat her? Well, have I? I've been as gentle as a butterfly's burp. You've watched me for weeks. That's right. I was beginning to think you'd gone human, but you can't say she seems to be having fun. May I remind you that I'm not working my brain to the bone for that girl to have fun. That's right. It was all done for Doug. Hmm. To save his face with J.P. Durham. Pay him back for the break he gave you. Well, regardless of your motives, Ducky, the results will still be the same for Doug. What? That's the only reason I finally agreed to your plan. What's the matter, baby? Oh, I told her she did a fine piece of acting and she clouds up to dampen the whole atmosphere. <laughs> There, there. Have a good cry and enjoy yourself. I hate him. I hate him. Of course you do. He's so mean and horrid and, and selfish. And I love him. Oh, Mary, you can't love him. You mustn't. I know. I didn't mean to. I didn't want to. I didn't know it at first. And... And then I got to wondering why I was taking such a pushing around. And, and then I knew it. And now it's too late. And I hate him. <laughs> you think I'm a bubblehead, don't you? Naturally. Falling in love with John is like falling in love with a refrigerator or an adding machine or... Mary, it'll be hard for you to understand people like John and me. We're so completely self-centered that we're incapable of love. That's why neither one of us is ever married. I don't believe that. You just think so because neither one of you have met the right one. Have it your way. I was just trying to let you down easily. All you've told me is that I have no rival. Oh, but you have. That insane desire of John's, that driving ambition to be the world's greatest director. That's right. Then that's the way I'll get him. I'll be such a good actress that, that he'll need me. He'll admire me first and then... Oh, John. John. I'm so glad you came back, John. I'm, I'm all rested now and we can go on with the lesson. Well, that's good. Because up till now, I've been so proud of you. You have? Perhaps I should have told you how much I admire you. What a game little thing you've been. How clever I think you are. And? And what, John? A 
this may come as something of a shock. Yes. You're ready. Huh. You're ready to spring on the studio. Didn't expect me to say that, did you? You're so right. And I'm going to say something that you didn't expect. Yes. Go jump in the pool! What? No, on second thought, don't, because I'm going to. as though you were raised in a pool. One of these dinky things? We kids had the whole East River at the end of our block. I never even saw one of these till I came to California. <laughs> Been here long? Uh-uh. But often. We get to the coast about every year this time. Your father travels? Pa? <laughs> the only place he ever traveled was down to the bar. He couldn't even travel back. They used to have to bring him. <laughs> well, that's some people's idea of a good time. Sure was his. He'd rather have a beer than a license to steal. <laughs> My name's Mary. What's well, yours? Well, 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 if it isn't Doug. Hello, Louisa. Hello. I was just asking him what his name she was. She can tell me about it. Father. Sure, Douglas. Douglas Hyde. Hyde. Hi. <laughs> These mosquitoes here. I was just telling him about Pa. Oh, you found your robe, didn't you? Of course, we should have sent it back to you, but we, well, we've been so unbelievably busy. Uh, here, here's to... your robe. Oh, well, I'll take it up to the house and wrap it up for you. Well, no, no, you don't have to bother. I'll just put it in the car. I was talking to Miss... Well, where is she? Who? That girl, uh, uh, Mary? Oh, she's gone home. I guess she always does, naturally. I, I guess she's gone home. Well, she didn't even say goodbye. Probably in a hurry. You know how it is. That is, uh, wouldn't you like something in a glass with ice in it? It's hot today. Mm. You look hot. Well, that's what I said. It's hot today. It's hotter than most days. It's hotter than... Uh, come on. Come on up the house. Where does she live? Who? That girl. Well, she's staying over here somewhere, visiting some people. She's a nice kid. We let her swim. How are things in the studio, Doug? How is JB? What's her name? Mary's? Oh, well, Mary, I guess. I mean, well, uh, John, what is it? Well, it used to be... I don't know her married name. Oh, she's married. Oh, sure, ever since her wedding. Well, I'll take a rain check on that drink. I haven't got time. Oh, I... you haven't? Well, next time then, huh? Uh, your car's over here. Yeah, well, I didn't need any trouble to see me to it. Thanks. Oh, it's no trouble. It's a pleasure. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I guess I spoiled everything. Oh, it's not your fault, Mary. How could you know it was Doug? No, no. He might have been selling magazines to put his grandfather through college. Sharp as a pillow, aren't you? Oh, well, behave. But well, I love you. There still might be a way out. Name one. Well, I was thinking. Thinking? Some of my best friends are men, and, uh, well, Mary was wearing a bathing suit. A bathing suit? Say, I wonder if he would know what her face looks like. Then there's still a chance. Mm. In an evening gown. Mm, yes. Your hair piled up. Yes. After all, what have we got to lose? Night in a different background. That's it. Let's have a party. Mm, not now. I was thinking, you... of course, a party for Nicolette. And her cousin. Straight from Paris. Sure. Get her a gown and everything that goes with it. Pile up her hair. Lend her some jewelry. Mm. Get out the invitations. Order a buffet. Hire some music. Arrange for the May floor. May I ask, what are you going to do? Well, see, the Doug gets here. And I'll be as French as French fries. Oh.
But this is too bad for me to be late. We, oui, I hope I have not derangé you. Oh, nonsense. You needed your rest. Oh, may I present Mr. Douglas Hyde, Miss Rochelle Olivier? How do you do? I do very well, merci. And now do you? Oh, I do. I mean, I'm fine, thanks, but... Haven't we met somewhere? Oh, impossible. I have never been somewhere. I mean, if I had met Monsieur, I should not have forget. Uh, Rochelle is Nicolette's cousin, straight from Paris. And with all the latest songs, you will sing one for us, won't you? Oh, mais oui, if Monsieur Doug would like to hear. Well, of course he would. Everybody would. Avec plaisir. Then I will sing. Lovely girl, isn't she? Sure, I've seen her before. Well, it must have been in Paris. She's never been out of the place. Well, I've never been in it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to present our charming guest from Paris, Miss Rochelle Olivia, who will now sing her newest song. <laughs> are like, uh, like my tours. Why, of course. Now, why didn't I th say? That gives me an idea. Yeah? The picture. That's the girl for your picture. Oh, no, no. That's over and done with. Forgotten, finished, and through. All right, all right, all right. Don't fog your glasses. Besides, she'd never do it anyway. Why? She doesn't like pictures. And her family'd never let her do it. Never, never. But with all that talent, she just uses it to entertain her friends like us. Too bad, too. I think we'd better put you with JB if you could salvage the picture. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, let's go over and talk to her. Okay. But remember, yeah, don't mention pictures. Now, don't tell me what to do. You've been getting me into trouble ever since we were kids together. From now on, I'm going to do things my way. D -d 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 Your high blood pressure. Yeah. I haven't got high blood pressure. I enjoyed your singing very much, Miss Olivia. Rochelle. Rochelle. And I enjoy singing so much for such a... Oh, you say, honk of man. <coughs> uh, should we uh, have a drink? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, no, this is out of the question. Even thinking of it gives me the goose dimples. Yeah, but, Rochelle, uh, uh, Doug is talking about a test. Wouldn't you like to see what you look like in pictures? Mm, oui. And yeah, it'd be kind of nice to send home to your family. Ah, oui. That is most interesting. This I would like. Splendid. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, is that a good time for you to make this teasing? N testing. 
Oh, uh, John will make it. I, uh, I have another director who... Oh, no, that is impossible. Oh, but it wouldn't make any difference, Rochelle. You want to bet? With someone else, I would be so scared that my hair would stand on their ends. Oh, no, 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 no. But wouldn't you do it for Doug? Ah, for Monsieur Doug. Oui, with plaisir. But only if you make the test. N'est-ce pas? In the drawing room. The house. La petite maison. The little house. Bonjour. Hello. Bonjour, monsieur. Hello, mister. Hello. Blossom test was great. Great. I knew it'd be okay if you made it. Doug wants to sign you right away. But I refuse, huh? Oh, definitely. This is impossible at first. Oh, maybe. Gradually you weaken, but only because you like him, mind you. Finally, you'll do it. If you direct. Mm. But what if Doug won't go for that? Oh, he will. Stop worrying. You sound like somebody's grandmother. I feel as though I were. Supposing he won't bother at all, so... Pardon, sir. For Miss O'Leary. Uh, Miss Olivia, sir. Uh, Thanks, Wilson. Must have sent to my carrier pigeon. Will you do me the honor of dining with me tomorrow night? I will, huh? Oh, certainly. You're anxious to see him. Remember, you like him. Well, I do. Well, that doesn't matter. The important thing is that he thinks you do. Let's call him. Well, you like him, don't you? Of course I do. He's my best friend. You ought to take a look at my flowers so I'd know what to thank him for. Yeah, they're roses, of course. Doug has no imagination. Ah, hello, Doug. Comment ça va? Oh, mais oui. Thank you so much for your beautiful bouquet and your beautiful package with the massage. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Lovely sunny Sunday, isn't it? Yes, sir. Is Miss Olivia having breakfast? Oh, no, sir. She left very early this morning for Arrowhead. It must be a lovely day there. Yeah. And with that nice Mr. Hyde. Is that you, Mary? No, it's I. These came from Mary and I want to put them in some water. Aren't they beautiful? Just peachy. The room must look like a mausoleum. What's eating you? Your plan's going like a Swiss clock, isn't it? Or a Swiss cheese. It's full of holes. What do you think she's going to look like when the picture starts? Up until all hours, every night. Why don't you tell her to sign the contract? Tell her? I can't even catch her. Ciro's with Doug, tennis with Doug, the bowl with Doug. But when I kept her up, teaching her something for her own good, I kept falling asleep like a dormouse. Maybe she likes Doug. Well, sure she does. But what are you looking so smug about? You kind of like him yourself. I always thought that one day you and he would... John, you have an abundance of imagination. Maybe. I'm sorry. What for? Mary couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Wish him all kinds of luck. Oh, and John, don't look now, but your jealousy's showing. accent. <laughs> and stop that. Champagne. Champagne, that is. <laughs> well, I finally agreed to sign the contract. Finally is the word for it. But I did everything just like you told me to do. I had to be talked into it, and I was. But only if you direct the picture. <laughs> what did he say to that? He's gone back to the studio to talk to J.B. Huh? Does he live there? Practically. Gee, everything's going just exactly as you planned, isn't it? Aren't you happy? Yes. Gay as May. 
Now, maybe you'll be able to get to bed now and then. By the time the picture starts, you look like a fugitive from a dark belfry. Yeah. But Doug did ask me to go to a dinner dance tomorrow night. After you'd agreed to sign? You know, I don't think it's all campaign with him. I think he really likes me. You or Rochelle Olivia? Yeah. He's so handsome. And such a nice guy. I feel like a crumb fooling him. You're not fooling him. You're acting the part to convince him that you can do it. And if you come through, it'll put him on top of the heap like a beacon. You know, I keep telling myself that. That I'm doing it just for his own good. Oh, you do? Well, what about me? You? Why, John, I owe you everything. My first duty is to you. Duty? <laughs> well, what else do I owe you? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Certainly not your interest. Definitely not your time. That's for Doug. Dear old Doug, for his own good. But I, who found you, who educated you, who worked myself to the point of exhaustion to make you a star. Just I... a minute, Schmoll. Let's don't get this thing tangled. Making me a star wasn't the pitch. This whole clam bake was to get you back in pictures. And now that you're almost there, do I get any thanks? No. Do I get a pat on the back? Mm-mm. Just the usual stinging, that's all. You've got a nice, even disposition. Always mad. Just because I want to be with Doug, who's a nice, kind, considerate guy like you would know from, you make a noise like a jealous husband. I never... Oh, John, you're not... You're not... J Point killer. Hello, we? Oh, I think of you all the time, Doug. Have you talked to uh, Monsieur Jebino? Oh, this is most unlucky. Then I cannot do this contract. Impossible. Put it. You be talking with Monsieur JB again, no? Ah, then that make me very happy. I will wait. I don't think it'll do much good, Rochelle, but if you say so, I'll try. All right. Anything you want, darling, and... Will you dream of me? You will? <laughs> good night, darling. Now what? I uh, just talked to Rochelle, J.B., and she said she just won't sign unless John Gale does the picture. You know what I told you before, don't you? Yes, sir. But look, J.B., John Gale doesn't want to direct anymore, but he says he'll do it as a favor for us. The only favor he can do for me is take a long walk on a short pier. Yes, sir. Rochelle is absolutely adamant, J.B., but Gail promises to play ball with us this time, if only... After all, he did win a few Oscars for us, didn't he? The answer is no, sir. Yes, sir. Rochelle is going back to France, J.B. She says... I don't care what she says. I say no. Yes, sir. Listen, J.B., Rochelle is packing. Packing? I guess I'll have to handle this. Yes, sir. Hold it. Thank you. Just one more, folks. Oh, uh, Mr. Gale, you're oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, that's better. Now, hold it. Thank you. I hope you'll be very happy here, Miss Olivia. I am hoping so, too. But if I should miss my own country too much, I have here my dear friends, Doug and Jean. We are, how do you say, uh, insufferable? No, inseparable, Rochelle. But that is what I say, no? Well, we better get you started, wardrobe. Oh, what? Yeah, I have one more picture, Mr. Gale, please. Right there. Hold it. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, Doug, set the picture for me at three, will you, fella? And send Stark to my office with those sketches. How did you angle it? Getting Gale on the lot again. Well, I just told J.B. that John was the only director for this picture. That is, unless he did it, I wouldn't touch the thing. <laughs> What could he do?
J.B. will like that. The rest of the scenes in the picture is as good as that. Hmm? Save it, Mac. 
Oh, John, I'm so glad. Oh, Jean, I am so happy that you are pleased and everything has come out just as you want. Yes, it sure has, baby. Now, you get over to publicity. They're putting on a campaign to put you in every home like a, like a breakfast food. Oui, but tonight. Tonight? Well, you know, the first day of the picture celebration. Oh, yeah, all. yeah, tonight. You better tell Louise I won't be home for dinner. I got hours of work yet. But, John, you... You and I. You and I will be together on the whole picture. I'll be a good girl. Don't hold up production. Hi. How does it feel to be all signed, sealed, and delivered? Great, I guess. From Doug. Lovely. You were right about John, Louisa. My brain must be all thumbs to think that I could ever mean anything to him. <laughs> Don't tell me. He's won his point and always giving you the quick brush off. I was so sure I was getting somewhere. The other night, I thought he was jealous of me, but I guess he was just temperamental. Take my advice, baby. It's free and worth it. Forget John. Doug's such a sweet human guy who's crazy about you. He doesn't even know Mary O'Leary. When the time comes to tell him, he'll probably hate her. Besides, he won his point, too, you know. He probably won't be calling like he... You answer it. Hello? How are you, Doug? Yes, yeah, she's here. Pretty tired. Oh, not too tired for that. She'd love to. Sure. I'll see you. You're having dinner with your producer, Cherub. That guy's something you can count on beside your fingers. Yeah, he is swell. That's an understatement. He's sincere, loyal, kind, considerate. Everything a woman could want. Then, uh, why don't you want him? I? Oh, I told you. The only way I'd be happy in marriage is as a widow, probably. Go on now. Put your things away. Get in a hot tub and wash off that dreary expression. Yeah. I'll turn on the other drips. Good evening, Wilson. Good evening. Is Miss Olivia... Miss Olivia left you a note. She left it. delivering flowers. Really? I thought you'd come to trick or treat. Take those upstairs. Good night. Oh, Mr. Gale, I presume. What a domestic item. Fire, robe, and the funnies. Fancy finding you at home of an evening when you're shooting a picture. I was tired. Thought I'd get to bed for a change. Something on your mind? You should pardon the expression. No. No, I, uh, I was just... Uh, Mary upstairs? Uh-uh, she's out. With Doug, I suppose. Why not? Why not? Why do you suppose why not? She's working, that's why. She's in the middle of a picture. Hasn't she been good in it? Magnificent, great. But you can't keep up like this. No actress can burn the candle at both ends. Nobody can burn them in the middle. What a comic. Well, I'm devoting every waking hour to making this picture great for her and Doug. Couldn't you see to it that she keeps her looks? Oh, she looks fine. She only went to that big press party at the Sultan Club. Strictly business. Oh, why'd Doug have to take her? Why don't you go and find out? Me? Rot. Right. Where are you going? To bed.
Oh, uh, Rochelle, may I present Mr. Starr, Broadway's most famous... Oh, Monsieur Starr! I have heard this name before, no? You're the famous, uh, how you say, plagiarist? <laughs> oh. I say something wrong? You do not write these plays? You mean playwright, Rochelle. A, a plagiarist steals ideas. Steals? Oh, this is terrible. I hope you will forgive. Certainly, provided you do a song for us. This I will do. You are most kind to forgive. Oh, Jean. This is such a prize to see you at this party. Rochelle. Now I know. You are here so these nice people can write you down in the newspapers for publicity. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, may I present Miss Rochelle Olivia, who will sing a song for us, Let's Fall in Love. are made of it, let's take a chance. Why be afraid of it? Let's close our eyes and make our own paradise. Little we know of it, still we can try to make a go of it. For each other To be Or not to be Let our hearts Discover Let's fall in love Why shouldn't we Fall in love Now is the time for it While we are young Let's fall in love Sherry, let's fall in love Oh, that was wonderful, Rochelle, wonderful. Yes, wonderful. I want to talk to you. Excuse me, monsieur. What do you want me to do? What do you mean, do? And stop looking at me as if I'd set fire to my grandmother. I just want to talk to you. Who are you kidding? Ever since you started to work on the picture, you haven't had time for a word to me that wasn't direction. Maybe that's because out of the studio, you haven't time to listen to anyone except Doug. Well, I was supposed to make him think I liked him, wasn't I? Yes. It's unimportant whether you do or not. Just make him think you do. That's what you said, isn't it? That I did. But you're running it into the ground like a, like a subway. You've got the contract. We're doing the picture. You don't have to go on stringing him. Just like that, huh? Now that you got what you want, I'm supposed to tell Doug to step in the front of a steamroller. Listen, Mary. I got news for you, brother. I'm not stringing him. I like his liking me. And now that I made him think I like him, I do. You're making Hollywood think you're in love with him. Well, maybe I am. Why are you silly? You're giving yourself romantic notions that you haven't time for. What do you know about love? <gasps> Get him. I'll tell you what I know about love. I was in love once, head over heels in love, for the first time in my life. And guess who with? You. Yeah, you. That's a laugh, isn't it? The most selfish, cold-blooded, egotistical stuffed shirt that ever put himself six feet above contradiction. Why, Mary, I had no idea. You never had an idea in your life that concerned anybody but the great John Gale. And there are a few other things that ought to be brought to your attention. You might have picked me up in a carnival, chum. But for my dough, you couldn't get a job there if the fix was in. Why, you're lower than the midgets and colder than the snake pit. And your head is so big, you couldn't get it in the lion's mouth. Why, you couldn't be a real guy if, if you did imitations. And I'd be back there doing exactly what I was doing if I thought there was a chump's chance of ever getting to be like you. Mary, listen to me. But I'm gonna stay me, see? And if I have to be Rochelle Olivia for the rest of my life, just don't forget that Mary O'Leary is underneath. 
Yeah, Mary O'Leary from the black top show of a rag trick, remember? That's who I am and that's who I'm gonna be. And if I live to be as old as an elephant, I'll never be anyone else. <laughs> What a scoop! Say, where are the telephones? Over here, come, oh, on, come on. Follow me. Go. What a storm! Just heard what happened at the press party. I'm writing my resignation now, JB. Okay. When you get it finished, file it under experience. Don't you want it? What for? You've got a picture to finish. Well, then you haven't heard. No shell is in French. You just got a... somebody better for the picture? Well, no, but it'll be all over the papers tomorrow, JB. Thousands of dollars worth of publicity that we don't have to pay for. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, JB. Break Gail's contract on fraud. Hold her to hers and tell her we expect her on the set in the morning. Yes, sir. I was just writing Louisa. Oh, Doug, you just gotta forgive me. I wouldn't hurt you for anything in the world. I don't believe you would, Mary. And I, I haven't really been hurt, I guess. J.B. refused to accept my resignation, especially on the set the first thing in the morning. You mean they want me to go on with the picture? You're a great actress, Mary, and a great gal. You don't even know me? I don't. <laughs> well, I know that you weren't raised in a swimming pool and that your old man was taken drunk now and then. You knew? Why didn't you tell me? Well, I, I figured you'd have more confidence this way. That's why I clipped John tonight. I'm making you tip your hand. Oh, Doug. Well, clinch and fade out, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, Mary's fading out. Mary. Mary. Goodbye, John. It's been weird knowing you.
You don't have to tell me she can do it, Doug. I don't understand it. I know she can do better. I've seen the stuff Gail shot. Ever since I have started directing that girl, she's so listless. So, so apathetic. She needs adrenaline. Maybe the kid's sick. Nonsense. The studio doctor gave her a thorough examination. Look, Doug, is she getting enough sleep? You know, those circles under her eyes. Maybe are... she needs more vitamins. Yeah, maybe it's psychological. I don't know. I wish I did. I thought maybe you guys might have some ideas. I wish I did. Well, we better break it up. All right, let's get no, back to work. Sorry, Doug. Look, Doug, I'm sorry, but it's getting to be quite a problem. Yes, J.B.? Just saw that last stuff shot by Whitaker, Doug. Maybe Olivia should be in a carnival. But she's trying, J.B. I know she is. I just can't put my finger on what's the matter. Well, you'd better, or the finger's on you. Yes, sir. Doug. Louisa. Gee, it's good to see you. How have you been? Worried. I'm sorry to bother you. You're so busy, Doug, but you're the only person besides me who ever understood John, and, well, I have to talk to you. He's not ill. No, he... Hasn't slept well or eaten very much in the past few weeks, but I wouldn't say he was ill. He's drinking? No more than usual. Oh, then why could... Well, for one thing, he's sorry about the trick he played on you. Oh, Louisa. <laughs> he told you that and you believe him? Well, that's just it. He isn't just saying it, he means it. He me he's sincerely sorry. Did you ever hear of John being either sincere or sorry? No. I know it's hard to believe, but he's actually charitable and humble. Even affectionate. Has me worried to death. I can understand that. It sounds like sort of a mental disintegration. Yes, or... or love. Love, John? You mean... Mary? Yes, I, I believe that John's in love with her. And unless I'm very much mistaken, Doug, Mary's in love with him. Mary. Mary. No. No, you're not mistaken, Louisa. Not at all, I, I... I'm sorry, Doug. There's nothing tougher than doing a solo in a romance. Yeah. I know. You, Louisa? Well, I'll have to be running along, Doug. See you. Louisa? Yes, Doug? What are you doing tonight? What I've been doing for a long time, waiting for you. Yes? What is it, Doug? I think the picture's going to be all right, J.B. In fact, I think everything is. Good morning, Mr. Gale. Good morning, Mr. Gale. Good morning, John. All set? Yes, sir. Camera ready? All set, John. Miss Olivia here? Yes, sir, Mr. Gale. She's coming, John. I haven't told her yet. We're ready for rehearsal, Miss Olivia. Watch your step there. This is to learn about love, Doug. Watch the cable here. All right, kids, watch your dress. All right, let's hold it down, everybody. All right, settle down. Rehearsal. All right, settle down. Quiet, yeah. settle me picture. Wait, rehearsal. Stand by with the playback. You fellas over there be quiet, right, will you? Yeah. Come on, kids. All right, girls. All right, ready? All right, hit the playback. I want to learn about love from you. I do, I do, I do. I want to learn what a kiss can do from you, from you, from you. You really think this is the answer, Doug? I don't know, but at any rate, John's the man for the picture. Yeah. If he doesn't cause trouble again, he won't. He's a changed man. I've talked to him. Love, love, love from you, you, you. Auntie? Mademoiselle. Oh, Monsieur Bill. That is such a surprise. Cut, cut, cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Are you paralyzed? And you're not much better. I saw the stuff they shot of you last week, and there is nothing wrong with your acting that a miracle wouldn't cure. There's your changed man. This part calls for some emotionalism, so will you please try to act as if you're still alive? Now, I'll be Bill. And if it's not too much effort, remember you're in love with me. In love. I'll go on back. Mademoiselle. 
Mademoiselle. Oh, Monsieur Bill, that is such a surprise. John.